You're a monster! Hi, and welcome back to Loop Outdoors. Hey, we're going to do a box opening of the Bog Tripod, and this is the Death Grip version. This is not the carbon fiber version of the uh, Death Grip, which would be a lot lighter. And the question I have is, do you really need this when you're out hunting? Is it worth taking with you when you go out hunting? When you're out there and you're trekking out into the deep woods, ounces equal pounds. So the more you carry, the more you gotta carry back out again. So we're gonna open the box uh, and then we're also gonna do a setup. And then later on, we will actually give it a try shooting from uh, out at the range. But for now, we're gonna check out how it works, how easy it is to set up and mount a gun to it, and uh, how it looks when you actually open up the box. So without further ado, we're gonna open the box. So th the box itself, is it horribly heavy? But there is definitely some weight involved here. So let's open this part up. First open the box, we have um, a manual, as much of a manual this could possibly be. Uh, and it's got information. Now, what's nice about these is if you're doing competition shooting, you can actually mount uh, a swivel head on this, and then you can actually mount your rifle on top of that. So it's easy to uh, mount and then release again. And we may try that later on, but let's pull this out of the box. It's wrapped in this plastic here. Huge thing of silica. And it's got two styrofoam pads on the end there. It is kind of heavy. But it looks pretty neat. Right off the bat, I don't know if I would actually take this hunting. It weighs. It has some weight to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to set it up. And we're going to see how easy it is to mount a rifle to it. One more thing I really like about this is that it has this very comfortable grip to carry the device. Uh, it's the other sides where the camouflage are is very slippery. This is easy to grip on. If it was wet, it'd still be very easy to grip on. It doesn't move. It doesn't roll. It's a nice addition. Overall, I feel that this is really, really well built. I just don't know about taking it hunting or taking it out into a field where you have to walk a long ways. Uh, this definitely has weight. I'm sure the carbon fiber version of this is incredibly light, but you're gonna have to pay for it. It is significantly more expensive than this version of it. Taking it to the range, probably not a big deal. Taking it hunting where you're gonna have to pack out and then pack back is probably not gonna work too well. Before we go any further, I wanna show you some of the things that this comes with that I thought was actually pretty neat. First of all, all the legs have these tightening and loosening things so you can pull the leg out. But that being said, look at this really, really cool option here. You notice how the foot is flat here and it has a screw. Now all the way out, it's flush. But when you tighten it, it instantly becomes a spike. The spikes aren't that sharp. They say, warning, the spikes are sharp. They're really not that sharp. But when you're out in terrain, this is very, very useful. Now, other tripods that I've looked at, you have to buy the spikes separately. So your bipods, you just normally have to buy the uh, spikes separately. But this is kind of neat. Don't want the spikes. Go all the way out, loosen this up, put it back in, close it up, you're set. 
The other thing I, I like is it comes with a little band here uh, that basically adjusts and tightens this up to keep it tight. That's nice. Another aspect that's nice is these locking mechanisms. So you can actually open it. It starts at 20, 20 degree angle, 45 degree angle, and 85 degree angle. Now, why is that important? Because it allows you to adjust the legs specifically, all of them, at the same angle. So at the 20 degree angle, that's your standing position. 45 degree angle is your sitting position and 85 uh, degree is more of a prone position. Uh, so it's gonna be really, really close to the ground. That's really, really awesome. And it's gonna help you a lot. Over here is your bubble level, which is very useful. The mechanism to adjust the angle you like back and forth are these metal easy to use grips gives you lots to hold on to and then this one over here opens and closes the mechanism here so I can make it tighter and tighter or wider and wider as needed for whichever firearm I'm going to be using and boy it uh the gripping material is really, really tough in there. This is an all metal construction, which is also the problem because being an all metal construction, uh, even though it's aluminum, um, it's got some weight on it. So if I was going to use this at the range, which I will and will be posting that video fairly soon, I don't think I'd have a problem. But I love the flexibility of the angles for the legs, the fact that I have built-in spikes. These are metal and large enough to easily tighten and loosen the grip and the angle of this to your rifle and to your hunting style. I really, really like that. I think that's absolutely spectacular. And it kind of accounts for the overall cost. And now let's set this up and install a rifle. So when we set this up, we extended the legs to their fullest extension. Now you'll notice that the rifle, when mounted, which was very easy to do, it's just a simple process of using the knobs to screw in and tighten at the balance point of your rifle. Now I'm five foot ten and a half, and as you can see, this is a lot higher than me. So if you're six feet or taller, this will still work with you quite well, which is actually a nice selling point. Now, I can tighten this up a lot easier by just shortening the legs and adjusting the legs as I see fit. We also, as stated before, have a bubble level here so you can adjust the legs perfectly to get a perfect balance. Now, we talked earlier about the knobs that adjust the legs. So here, this is at the 20%. And when we bring the leg in a little bit, we can adjust it. So if we go to 40%, the leg comes out more, which is going to be great for a sitting position. And then at 85%, they come way out. So by adjusting this and conforming to the terrain you're at and the position you need to be at, this makes it really simple to make the tripod work for your shooting style. That alone, in my opinion, is great. Overall, the metal construction, the aluminum, the carry stand, the fact that you have spikes in the feet, it's a very, very nice stand. Now what we're going to do in another video is take this out to the range and see how well it holds the rifle when shooting. Now this specific rifle is in 6.5 Creedmoor. I have rifles in 308 and I also have uh, Benelli Lupo in 300 Win Meg. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see how this works with the different calibers 
and whether or not if I want to shoot 300 wind mag uh, at full tripod, whether it's going to hold the rifle snugly. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and please remember to hit that bell icon and we'll see you at the next box opening.